Hello Cougars fans, I'm here with head women's basketball coach Mandy King after the 60-53 to loss to Brooklyn College. Coach, obviously not the way you want to start the season, but you saw some good things out of the freshman. Oh, absolutely. Uh, you know, obviously we're very uh, disappointed. It's not the result that uh, we wanted today and it isn't reflective, truly reflective of all the work that our, our girls have put in, you know, so I know that we're, we can perform a lot better than that. So. Um, but you got to give a lot of credit to Brooklyn. You know, I, I thought they just came out and um, you know they beat it, beat us in several facets of the game, and they really earned it right in our home gym. And that's probably what hurts the most. Uh, I was very, very proud of our freshmen tonight. Uh, they didn't play like freshmen. Uh, they made a big impact, and there were so many possessions where there were four freshmen on the floor, and um, I was really, I loved their toughness. I thought they had a really good understanding of what it takes to win, and uh, we've got a bright future. Obviously, they crashed the boards, 49 to 36. Not the best effort, but you know, just talk about what you're gonna have to do going forward with that. Yeah, I mean, I think we just gotta stay um, focused on the things that uh, we've built an identity uh, with, and that's the first thing is is that we gotta do a better job with our our transition, both offensively and defensively. That's really what Kane basketball is about: is playing fast and playing together. And, and we really didn't do that tonight. Um, the second thing is we're really looking for two-way players. You know, they've got to make an impact on the offensive side of the ball and really. Um, you know, win the point of attack defensively. Um, and then again, I just think our effort needed to be better on the glass. It wasn't necessarily about their size. It's just we didn't meet them with the way that uh, you're going to need to with range rebounds, traffic rebounds. I mean, the ones that are all about toughness. We just didn't really have it tonight. Just talk about what other things you saw, whether positives and negatives from tonight's game. Um, <laughs> I'm really searching on, on that one. It's always hard after a loss, but um, the good news is it's only game one, you know, and if you've, uh, if you've peaked in game one, then you're probably going to be uh, in for a long season. And uh, the good news is, is that, um, you know, I, I don't think tonight is really reflective of who we are as a program. And I expect, you know, we've got a quick turnaround. That's probably the best part about tonight is that we get to come back and play on Friday um, and get to be a little bit better. So we'll have one more practice uh, to improve on the things. Uh, the good news is we've got a lot of film that uh, we can use to help our girls have an understanding about how we can improve. And um, I think you'll see a much better, you know, Cougar team on Friday. And just talk about Salisbury and what you expect to see out of them. Oh, you know, it's it's just another any night out in in Division three basketball in these tough conferences, um, you're gonna get teams that um, you know they they really will come after you defensively. They're gonna get out and run in transition, um, and they've got guys that um, you know can really exploit you in all five positions. So they share the ball really well. Um, you know, so again, it's you know it's just you know there's nowhere to hide in our schedule, and that's exactly the way that we like it. So um, just looking forward to again just getting out and hopefully getting a chance to beat a really worthy opponent. All right, thank you, Coach. All right, thank head, you. Head women's basketball coach Mandy King after the 60-53 to 53 loss to Brooklyn.